Daisy, have you heard the news? YouTube has come out with some new updated YouTube monetization rules. I know, it's okay though, I'll explain. Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose and today I'm going to be talking about the new YouTube monetization policy that YouTube has released just this week. Now it looks like at this stage it's going to just affect small channels or people who are not in the YouTube partner program and that means basically you're not getting ad revenue from YouTube yet. But it could also have some effects on larger channels long term as a bit of a flow on, but we're just not sure yet. So I'll explain what the new policies are, how that will affect you if you're a small channel or a larger channel, and what is YouTube monetization anyway if you're not there yet. So there's a certain criteria that you have to meet, and I will go into that in later in the video. But Daisy. <laughs> Shaking their little bells. So basically YouTube is going to start showing ads on channels, smaller channels, that are not monetized yet. Now, if you are not monetized yet and you're wondering how the hell do I get monetized, which means that the ads that play on or around your videos, you get a percentage cut from those videos. So you actually earn some money from those videos. So I earn some money from my YouTube channel because I enable ads and I'm part of the YouTube partner program. Here's the thing though, that's really not the biggest part of my business. And I don't think that you should create a YouTube channel just to earn YouTube ad revenue either. I think there is plenty of other ways to earn money through YouTube and I'll explain some of those in a moment. YouTube ad revenue, I kind of think of like icing on the cake. So it's nice to get a check every now and then for ad revenue, but <laughs> there's actually plenty of easier ways to start earning money from your YouTube videos. Anyway, let's go into that in a second. I'm gonna actually read the update on the actual YouTube blog, so let's read this. Okay, so it says updates to YouTube terms of service, and it says these new terms will be effective in countries outside of the United States mid-year 2021. So it's happening in the US first. Talking about this, ads can now appear on videos from channels not in the YouTube partner program and we will begin gradually placing ads on brand safe videos. And then the next bit is, because these channels are not in the YouTube partner program, there's no creator revenue share, but creators can still apply to the YouTube partner program once they hit the eligibility criteria, which remains the same. Now I'm gonna quickly go over to the eligibility criteria because some people don't know what that is. Now to get monetized, you have to be in a country that allows YouTube monetization. So obviously US, I'm in Australia, so it works for me. So check whatever country you're in if you are eligible. The next thing is you must have 4,000 valid public watch hours in the last 12 months. So basically you need to have people watching your videos. You can't just have one random video that got you know 10,000 views three years ago, that's not going to get you in the YouTube partner program because what they're wanting is new content. They're wanting people to utilize their platform regularly and update with new stuff all the time. Okay, you must also have 1000 subscribers and have a linked AdSense account. Makes sense, right? They also have then a YouTube partner checklist and the checklist is make sure your channel follows our policies and guidelines. So you know, don't do stuff that YouTube doesn't like. Don't put up copyrighted stuff. Then you're definitely not going to get the ad revenue from those videos. It's also against the law, but they can give you strikes on your channel. And if you get three strikes, they will just shut your channel down. Then you need to enable the two-step verification thing that you need to do on Google and YouTube. <laughs> just follow the prompts. And then you need to have the 1,000 subscribers, the 4,000 watch hours, and also sign the YouTube Partner Program Terms of Service. Like I said before, you need to have an AdSense account and then your channel will get reviewed. Sometimes that takes a few weeks. I think they actually put a guideline here that it might be a month or so. Now, if you get rejected and you have to maybe make some changes to your channel, then you can get it reviewed again in 30 days. So for the smaller channels, say like my daughter's channel, she has a channel which she does craft and slime and DIY type stuff on her channel. She doesn't have a thousand subscribers yet, 
she's working on it but so she's not in the YouTube partner program so she doesn't earn ad revenue from YouTube yet so with this new YouTube monetization rules policy for 2020 and 2021 is that basically YouTube is saying we're going to put some ads on smaller channels who aren't in the YouTube partner program and we're not going to give you a cut of those ads <laughs> basically they're going to take all the revenue from it anyway you know what here's my thoughts on this because I know that a whole lot of people are like ah oh, YouTube's stealing money from us oh this is someone fair blah 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 the thing is you weren't going to earn money from YouTube anyway until you got those thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch, watch hours anyway so first of all what do you care secondly YouTube is a free platform you are basically putting your videos to gain all the free, I know, right? All the free views that YouTube brings to the platform. And you know what? I've actually posted my videos to be held in other places um, that I've had to pay for. And I kind of think of YouTube as a bit of a privilege because hey, I get to host my videos there for literally free and get all the views and all the traffic that comes to YouTube for free. So for me, when I first started on YouTube, I had a baby and birth channel. I got a whole lot of customers and clients for free. So <laughs> that was even before I was monetized on my channel. And I'll explain more of that in a moment. You know, you have to remember that YouTube is a business. So, you know, they're going to work out how to monetize their business. And I was making money from my YouTube videos way before I was monetized. So, you know, you can do the same. We don't need to be monetized in the YouTube partner program just to make money from our videos and heaps of people actually don't. You know, when you actually are monetized, so my channel is monetized, so I have ads that run on some of my videos. You might see one on this video. YouTube doesn't run ads on all of your videos. So sometimes my videos might play and there may not be an ad at all. But if there is an ad, I will get a cut of that. Now YouTube has also said this is only happening on some videos. So videos that they see are on brand for their particular advertisers okay we also earn different amounts for different kinds of advertisers you don't earn the same amount as everybody else in every different niche that's down another rabbit hole <laughs> uh I, like i said before i kind of see ad revenue from youtube as kind of like icing on the cake love the checks that come in from that and be like thank you youtube but that's not kind of how i earn money from youtube so let me explain that. So if you didn't know, the YouTube Partner Program is not the only way that you can earn money from your YouTube channel. In fact, a lot of people build their list, they get clients from YouTube, they can use affiliate links that you put in the description. I earn money from Amazon affiliate links that I put in some of my description of my videos. But by far the easiest way to earn good money from YouTube videos is if you offer some kind of product to yourself or some coaching and you put out such great content that you become kind of like a go-to person in your niche. So when I started my baby channel, I was doing lots of videos about birthing strategies like hypnobirthing and breathing methods and things like that. And then I had gained so much trust in those people or they had so much trust in me because I was delivering great value and content that they really, really needed that I started to have people reach out to me and say, hey, do you offer classes via Skype? And of course, I was like, uh, yes, I do, <laughs> which I didn't at the time, but I just said yes. And that's how I actually started doing classes over the internet to people all around the world in different countries. Another way that I have earned money through my YouTube videos is by linking to certain courses through affiliate programs, through Amazon products that I recommend. So I will always say, you know, this is the equipment that I'm using to film my videos. And then if you want to go buy the same stuff, there's links down there below as resources. And I suggest you do the same. Utilize those descriptions in your videos to drive people to the products, to the resources, to great things that you can recommend that will help them in their journey in your particular niche. I have heard about some people kind of complaining that YouTube is taking revenue for them and that it's not fair. 
but a couple of years ago policies came in that you had to have a thousand subscribers and you had to have 4,000 watch hours to get you know monetized or in the YouTube partner program anyway so the thing is you weren't going to get paid anyway for a the last couple of years so what you really need to focus on is just delivering value doing great videos that help your audience and just working towards that youtube monetization if that's what you want to do i don't know this doesn't really make a lot of difference for me for obviously the channel that is monetized but even for my daughter's channel that we're looking to monetize and build it just makes me go well we just continue on our goal and the plan that we've set out for her channel anyway if you want to look at a channel by the way it is called honey bros and it's super cute so if you have kids that love slime and crafts and diy stuff then go and have a look at a channel well actually i'll list it below in the description of this video so i want to know your thoughts do you feel like this is going to affect you or are you kind of thinking positive like i am and has it maybe spurred you to make a plan for you know the next 12 months for your channel to really get monetized for your channel let me know in the comments below your thoughts on these new YouTube monetization policy changes now if you are new to YouTube or you have a small channel that you are wanting to build uh, look out for this video that I have because it is called 18 mistakes that new youtubers make or you know if you're trying to build a channel again or revamp it this video will be good for you as well click on that because I made a whole lot of mistakes in the beginning and I want you to be able to learn from my mistakes and not make them yourself so i hope you enjoyed today's video and click on that next video to make sure you watch that and so you don't make the same mistakes see you in the next one